For the last week, I've been sitting, thinking, wondering, contemplating. If you guys aren't already aware, Zach Rowe made an apology video to me that was 15 minutes long, apologizing for everything, taking my 24 seven championship, costing me my one opportunity to beat Kip Clips clean, costing us the inaugural JTW Tag Team Championships. He apologized for it all. Now I've got part of me that wants to believe that it's genuine. I've got the other part of me telling me not to listen, telling me that he's a liar. And you guys seem to be thinking that as well. I read the comments, I've got people saying to me, Joe, forgive Zach. I've got people in my DMs saying, Joe, hear Zach out. He's, he's genuine, he's, he's apologizing to you. But then I've got the other side telling me that Zach is a coward and that he now has realized that he has awakened the Joe Anthony that hasn't been seen for a while and he's scared. Now guys, I've known Zach for a long time. He was my best friend for a long time. One thing Zach isn't is scared. But here's where the difficult choice comes in. The difficult choice lies with me. Do I forgive? Do I accept? Or do I continue being bitter? Being angry? And there's one important lesson in life. And that is that, guys, you have to move on from things. You have to. You can't bottle things up and let them rip you apart inside. Now, Zach, you and I have battled it out for the top spot in JTW here since we began. It was you and I from the very beginning. I've known you a long time. I've known you before we did this, before we started this. Am I willing to throw all those memories, all those feelings, am I willing to throw that all to the side, throw it away over bitterness? I'm a man. When you come at me with a heartfelt apology that's genuine and you want to make amends, who am I? to throw that away. Who am I to ignore that? I'm not a child. Zach, I heard every word you had to say. I was there live for the premiere. I didn't talk in the chat, but I was there. I was listening. As I sat there, my eyes welling up, listening to what you had to say to me. Hearing that you were indeed sorry. And that you wanted to patch things up, you wanted to fix things. This is my answer to you. All right, okay. You said you wanted to see me in person. You said you wanted to apologize in person. Now, Zach, I haven't seen you since the day I laid my hands on you. I haven't seen you since the day you laid your hands on me, since the day you slapped me. But I'm willing to forgive. So Zach, I will DM you the date, the time, and the location. Lockdown is easy. Soon it will be safe to see each other. And the first thing I will do when that date comes is message you those details. If you really want to fix things, 
and I will see you then. And until then, guys, I've got nothing more to say on the matter. But I assure you, when the day comes that Zach and I do meet again, you will all see it. So, Zach, let's take this time as men to reflect. To reflect on what has happened, to reflect on all that we have been through in the past. Let's fix this. I'll see you soon.